Hello, uh, my name is Mr Tyus, I'm Head of Maths here at Bab Lake and I'm going to introduce you to Maths in the Sixth Form here. So, Maths in the Sixth Form, why should we be studying Maths? Well, there's two quotes here that I make no apology for reading because they're that important. Mathematics should be declared a subject of national importance. It is critical to this country's economic survival. Employers must be able to recruit people with a mathematical skill which will allow them to compete successfully in a global economy. When I was your age, I only had to worry about competing for a job perhaps with people from the rest of England, maybe the rest of the UK. You are working in a global economy and you can rest assured people your age throughout the world are studying maths so they can compete in that economy for jobs with you. And whatever you think of Brexit or whatever else, you will be competing with those people. You need to be able to. People in China are learning maths hand over fist. You need to be doing the same thing. What will you actually study if you study maths with us here? Everybody does pure maths. You know what pure maths is. That's your algebra, your trigonometry, things you've done all the way through school. You'll do some more of that. Mechanics, you'll do some mechanics. The effects of forces on moving bodies. How they move, why they move. You'll come across Isaac Newton, people like this. Statistics, I put interpreting data and then I put correctly and then initially I put seven exclamation marks there. You may have heard this phrase, lies, damn lies and statistics. It's a misquote by the way, it was originally lies, damn lies and lawyers. Interpreting data correctly is vitally important. One example in biomedical science. If we're trying to work out if a drug works or doesn't work, what the side effects of it are, if we don't analyse the data we get properly, we're going to cause chaos. A drug with dreadful side effects is a disaster. And if you go back to the 1960s, and a drug called thalidomide, that is where those statistics were missed. The data was there for that drug. We must do it correctly. Some of you will be considering doing further mathematics. Uh, you will do more pure mathematics. And at the moment, you will do some more mechanics. Uh, that can change. We might do more statistics. We might do something called decision mathematics, which you might find some more about. How does it work? Um, very briefly, it splits like that. If you're doing A-level mathematics, you'll do pure and applied maths in lower sixth and upper sixth. Further maths, only mechanics in the upper sixth. Um, and AS further maths, which we offer as well, is that mixture there. It doesn't matter too much. How many periods of maths will you get? Um, it doesn't matter too much, you get enough periods. This one is quite important though if you're considering doing further maths. If you are currently here at Bablake, if you are not in set one, I really wouldn't have thought you'll be doing further maths. Do A-level maths, by all means. If you are not with us here at Bablake and you want to do further maths, you just need to get in touch with me. Our set one have done something called additional mathematics. It gives you a flying start to the A-level mathematics course. Lots of you that aren't with us at the moment, you may be doing GCC further maths, something like that, which is great. You might not be doing any extra at all. Get in touch with me. Yes, you can still do further maths. Yes, I will set you some homework to do over the summer. But you'll have finished your GCCs. You've got plenty of time. Doing A-level maths teaches you two separate things. The content we teach you and this idea of problem solving. The content is obviously vitally important to you if you're going to be an engineer, an economist, biomedical science, physicist, lots of other things you can think of. There are loads of careers out there where you need the content. It's obviously really important. It's obviously really important because we can examine the content. Another huge element of teaching and learning A-level maths 
is this idea of problem solving. Industry is crying out for people that can solve a problem. And that's what mathematicians do every time they do a problem. You're given a problem, you have some skills, some content you've learnt that might allow you to solve it. And industry is crying out for people that can solve a problem. It might not be directly maths based, but industry wants you to solve problems and that's what mathematicians do. If you see a problem, do you relish the idea of solving it? Do you struggle your way through it, apply whatever knowledge you've got, show a bit of resilience and succeed? Or do you just go, oh, I can't do it? If you're in the latter category, A or maths is not for you. You're going to get stuck. Um, how hard is A level maths? Having said right at the start, who should study maths? And there's an argument there that everybody should study maths. A lot of countries around the world at 16, you would not stop studying maths. It's that important. How hard is it? Realistically, you need a grade 7 in your GCSE. Anything less than a grade 7 and you are going to find it really, really difficult. But more important than that, if when I mention algebra, you groan, don't do A-level maths. But if you see algebra as a tool to solve problems, and on the GCSE papers you're doing at the moment, you get to the algebra question and you go, ah, oh, great, yeah, I can do that one, then A-level maths is for you. Uh, think carefully about it. Results. Will you succeed if you do A-level maths at Babley? There's the further maths grade. Um, I've missed 2020 off, and you can probably imagine why. Um, will you succeed if you do further maths? Can you be in this group here with A's and A starts? Well, there's no reason you can't. Just by the way, these people here, they generally didn't do badly at further maths. They were people who needed a 3A level offer from university and quite rightly concentrated on their 3A levels um, and didn't concentrate so much on the exam of further maths. Did they benefit from studying further maths? Yes, because they still had that knowledge they needed. And A-level maths results? A-level maths results. GCE is A-level, by the way. Can you be in this group here? A stars, A's, B's. Is there any reason you shouldn't be in there? But, slight health warning. Who are these people here? If you don't engage with us, you don't enjoy algebra, you don't relish the challenge of a problem, you could be these people here. If you're going to come and do A-level maths with us, be ready to work hard, be ready to struggle, be ready to struggle better, and get yourself in this group here. But can you get into this group here, A's and A stars? Well, all these people did. Why shouldn't you? And just before I finish, a few thoughts on maths. Number is the origin of all things, and the law of number is the key that unlocks the secrets of the universe. I do quite like that one. And normally, when I'm doing this presentation live, just before I ask if there's any questions, uh, we read through those. And we go, last one, not choosing maths. That sound you can hear is a door of opportunity closing. Thank you very much.